So hi, Katie here again. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today is um, the um, centre parks and um, that Tommy Robinson incident where um, he allegedly um, got into fisticuffs with somebody he's accused of um, her sexually harassing his eight-year-old daughter, you know, which, don't get me wrong, to be fair, if that's true, it's absolutely disgusting. But the um, fact of the matter is, um, Tommy Robinson is a far-right fascist, and um, if those guys are paedophiles as well, and they're at centre parks, which is supposed to be like a family um, holiday resort that's safe for all the family, then um, that's pretty disgusting, really, you know? But what I want to talk about is the fact that Centre Parks put so much effort into um, monitoring um, innocent transgender people who go into their facilities because somehow they've got it into their heads that um, transgender people are um, predatory um, sex pests, basically. And... Um, now what you find, they've let cisgender males who are Nazis and paedophiles and fascists actually run amok at their, um, at, at, at their resorts. And um, how is that a healthy um, environment for the family? Do you know what I mean? I mean, and that just goes to show you something. The fact that um, when um, Centre Parks put out that statement that they... Um, would not allow trans women to use, transgender women and girls to use the female changing rooms. Um, what they did there was um, an effort to appease the um, extreme transphobes and the far right people like Tommy Robinson. And now look what's happened. You have Nazis and paedophiles fighting together, or alleged paedophiles, in a family holiday resort in front of children. Um, so well done, Centre Parks. Good job. You know, you just <coughs> kowtowed to bigotry, right? And um, what good has it done you? You 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 don't mind if somebody's a cisgender male and a paedophile or a Nazi and they come into your family orientated place, you know? Because you your idea of a family person is that they don't harm children. And actually you really need you really need a history lesson because a lot of the Nazis, people like Josef Mengele, they were um, they were family men, quote unquote, and um, they harmed children. And I think it's pretty disgusting that you put profit before people's safety, and um, you decided to join the anti-trans bandwagon, and it won't be forgotten. And um, we don't need any of your excuses that you, because a few of us have emailed and you've said to us that you, you um, oh, well, maybe we can talk this out. You know, I, if you're an acceptable looking trans person, they will let you use the female or the male changing rooms, you know. But if you don't look, as far as they're concerned, acceptable, if you don't, I pass, then it's, oh, go and use, you know, go and use the changing rooms of your own birth gender, which could put you at risk of sexual assault or, um, you know, being murdered even by some of these crazed Nazis and paedophiles you let, obviously let into your resorts. So I would, I would say to everyone, please boycott centre parks because um, they, they're more willing to have Nazis and paedophiles as long as they're quote-unquote cisgender family men in their resorts than they are to have like an innocent um, trans woman or girl, right? So um, yeah, so that's, that's the message I want to give. Boycott centre parks because they're... Um, they they um, appease they not only appease bigotry but they obviously thought that trans people were bad for business and um, at the uh, behest of a um, extremist transphobic organisation I think it was either Fair Play for Women or or, or or Women's Place UK they actually said oh no we won't let trans we won't let trans women and girls use female facilities they have to use the, fe the facilities of their own of their birth gender or the gender that we were wrongly assigned at birth, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, Centre Parks, you are...
a typical example of somebody who um, puts people's safety before um, be, before you know you know you put you put your own profit before people's safety and um, so yeah so boycott centre parks that's what I say and if anybody else has got any um, opinions on this please leave it below you know because I, I think you know we really need to make our voices heard here so and whether you disagree with me or not you know fine just sort of put a comment there and tell me what you think about it or if you've had a negative um, experience at a centre park then tell me you know because um, that would be really good so thank you all for watching and um, I love you all and um, take care. Bye.